Hi there, it's Matt from Museoma here and today I'm looking at some of the more advanced routing features of Museoma and the 2.0 version for playing back backing tracks. So often people ask me, well how can I use these multi-channel backing tracks in my setup? You know, if I've got a digital mixer, say an X32, how, what's the best way to, to route in some backing tracks from an iPhone or an iPad? And one of the nicest solutions I've come up with is if you have, uh, let's say you've got an iPad here, you've got the camera connection kit, you can actually connect it into this, uh, into a Behringer X32 core. Now that will act as a staging post, if you like, so that you can then play back your multi-channel into the Behringer and then from the Behringer you can route that via the AES50 outputs into your main desk. So you're, you're able to then select in banks of eight how many channels you want to connect from the core, which is basically your iPad input. And that goes into the desk via one cable. And that cable can be really long, you know, like 100 meters, up to 100 meters. If we go into one of the demo songs, and we've basically got our new mixer here. So if I open that new mixer, you can see all the channels up here are routed out via the camera connection kit. So it gives you the opportunity to remotely connect your iPad and use it for backing tracks. So maybe you've got a drummer or a, like a producer who would want to actually coordinate the backing tracks. Using this, you could have this on stage or uh, you know by the desk or whatever, uh, remotely away from the main console, um, but still be able to send multi-channel. So I hit play on that, uh, on the demo there, you can see. Playing back the channels got control on here and you've also got control on the main desk so I can change the levels so I can mix just as I would normally and I can mix from this mixer here so I've got controls in two places really 